Hi guys, it's Xenia from HiKit Forum. Today we are talking with Pedro Fortuna, CEO and CTO of Chase Crumbler. Hi Pedro. Hello Xenia. Pedro Fortuna has a decade of experience researching and working in the application security area. He is a regular speaker at cybersecurity conferences and also the author of several patents in application security. Um, first question, um, in your article, how secure is your web browser? You state that companies are focused on the seats where several and pay little attention to the hidden dangers of hacks through the client side. This article was written last year. Has anything changed since then in the approaches to security? Well, um... Well, I feel that companies are slowly becoming concerned with what's uh, with what hits their client side. Uh, they now want to know if a script has been injected into their web pages, if someone modified their JavaScript in any way, or detecting if some malicious extension is being used when visiting their website. Uh, and these are all things that can be stopped by making the client side code temper resistant which makes the code self-aware that it has been modified, in which case it can execute countermeasures like uh, breaking the code, deleting cookies, uh, and so on. Uh, and, and they can also be stopped by implementing real-time website monitoring, which can provide real-time information uh, if someone has tempered with the login form or if uh, an ad has been injected or if a banking corrosion has modified the web page, et cetera. But that being said, we still see new news of lots of attacks that could have been stopped using client-side defenses. Uh, I can think of like Ticketmaster was compromised uh, by a modification to their client-side code, and it resulted in tens of thousands of credit card details uh, being leaked. Also, uh, very recently, the Mega uh, browser extension uh, was compromised and, and it started uh, stealing users' data and also stealing cryptocurrency from, uh, from people accessing uh, crypto exchanges. And uh, we, have, uh, we had the, the, the main in the browser attacks against Coinbase and blockchain a few months ago, and, and the list goes on. So we still have... Um, uh, a lot of room for improvements and, and for for uh, increasing what we are doing in, the, in this uh, in the client side. Yeah, it's about your um, as the same publication um, that you appeal to develop the, to developers to recognize the very real dangers posed by not protecting the client side. And what exactly should they do in this regard? Well, uh, traditional security ha hasn't been developers' biggest priority. Uh, and I still feel that most developers are still not aware of the importance of protecting JavaScript. Um, mm -hmm. I think they, they fear that protection might impact their code significantly or uh, that somehow they will become unable to debug their code, uh, which is not true. Uh, JavaScript code protection can be fully integrated into their build processes and offering resilient protection with very little impact to the code. W what I think they should do is they need to, to gain more awareness. Um, but I see developers increasingly concerned with security. Okay, and uh, you talked about JavaScript. Um, what do you think? Uh, will JavaScript coding become a compulsory skill in the near future? For example, do I today need coding skills in order to ensure my security, my company security? Well, um... JavaScript uh, keeps growing, and probably it's the most popular programming language nowadays. Um, still, um, we cannot expect common end users to have coding skills in order to be secure. So, uh, developers most definitely they can they can they, they can and they should learn JavaScript, especially if they are involved in developing uh, web applications. 
uh, and that can definitely help uh, in starting to secure the, the code and, and their products and their companies. Uh, but I think the the but that that won't help end users. So the the problem needs to be addressed uh, by application developers, definitely. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. And um, uh, on this Crumbler website, as uh, there is a description of your product, uh, it ensures the integrity of your web application on the client side. Uh, could you explain, please, in a few words, the takeaway of your product? Well, uh, by ensuring the integrity of the web applications, um, we, we used um, two combined approaches. We use code integrity, which uh, basically consists in um, rewriting the codes of your application. And we use techniques like obfuscation, but beyond obfuscation as well, we use code traps and code locks which are um, additional code not originally present uh, in, in the, the original code um, that is meant to booby trap uh, if the code is being executed in a, an unauthorized environment. And we can make the code um, uh, temper resistant, so the code uh, can break on purpose, for instance, uh, if it detects that it has been modified and can warn the application developer. And on the second uh, approach, the web page integrity, we do real-time monitoring of, of the web page. So if someone modifies the DOM by modifying a web form, or if uh, they modify the code that deals with the, with the login form, um, if some, some uh, inline script gets injected into the web page. So those are a few, few of the things that we can pick up in real-time, and we can help the application uh, developer uh, mitigate those threats before they, they do uh, real damage. Uh, what are your future plans for your project? Well, J Scrambler is built on the grounds of innovation. Uh, we have introduced many of the advances that you can see today in regards to JavaScript code protection, real-time monitoring of web pages, etc. So our future plans, I guess, are to continue innovating in this field and, and providing other type of, of solutions that can make the, the client side safer. Um, I cannot disclose uh, a few things that we have on our sleeves for the future, but let's see what the future holds. Also, we have been um, recognized uh, in the last June by, by Gartner uh, in their market guide for application chilling. Um, which has been a, a, a good recognition of uh, our innovation in this field. And, and more and more companies are uh, from totally different sectors, like uh, startups for to Fortune 500s and different use cases are coming to us. And, and we want to continue uh, to be their go-to solution for protecting uh, web applications. Yeah. This nice. Uh, you will you will join Hackit, so maybe you will find some inspiration <laughs> there <laughs> and some you know energy to make all, all your plans. <laughs> Definitely, I look forward to being with you guys and and uh, experience uh, the, the the conference that uh, I'm very excited to to be participating uh, in. Yeah, maybe maybe you will uh, tell a couple words to our attendees uh, about uh, your speech and uh, you know some words about Hackit and uh, what what will be uh, interesting for user. Uh, why why you will be here? Why? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, when you invited me to to speak at uh, Hackit. Um, I, I was immediately uh, excited by the idea. Uh, uh, I mean, the, the, the number of uh, very good speakers that you are having and all the initiatives uh, seems very exciting. Uh, in my talk, I will be uh, talking about many in the browser attacks against uh, uh, crypto exchanges. 
and I will be demoing uh, a real world attack that uh, has happened uh, this year against Coinbase and blockchain.info. So I will be uh, able to show you all the all the little details of that attack and how it was accomplished and, and what the attackers uh, were able to do with that attack. And stay tuned for that. Okay, we're so excited about that. And actually, uh, no one knows that you will be in Kyiv for uh, three hours. You <laughs> will go to a conference from the airport and leave it after your speech. So, uh, guys, um, Hack it. it will be on 11th of October. You can meet there Pedro Fortuna, but only for a couple hours. So don't miss a chance <laughs> to see him alive. Uh, yeah, thank you so much for your time. And um, I was nice to speak with you. And uh, we are looking forward to see you here in Kyiv. Thank you, Xenia. Thank you for inviting me. And I look forward to being with you in Kiev on the 11th of October next month. <laughs> okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you.